Morning, it's the 29th of uh, August, 2024. Beautiful morning this morning. You tried your best and you failed miserably. The lesson, the lesson is, is never, never try. try. I see. It. Today we're going to talk about Lord Bamford. We touched on this guy yesterday. His name is Anthony Paul Bamford. He's a British billionaire and his uh, estimated wealth is four plus billion pound, which is quite a lump. He's chairman of the JC of the JCB, and he succeeded his father Joseph uh, Solo Bamford as the managing director of the company in 1975, at the age of 30. And in 1990, he became Sir Anthony Paul Bamford. Uh, and he's got a car collector. He's a car collector, and he's got two Ferrari 250 GTOs, whatever they are. I don't know. Don't mean no to me. But they're worth upwards of 70 million pound each and his car collection is valued at 260 million pound plus and they were put in the house of lords in 2013. He's a major Tory donor and he gave the conservative party 8.1 million pound between 2007 and 2017 and he donated a million pound to the before the 2010 election and Prime Minister Cameron recommended him for a peerage the same year. And he, he became Lord Bamford of Dalesford on the 3rd of September 2013. He also donated £100,000 to the Vote Leave campaign in 2016. And during the 2019 campaign, he donated just shy of four million fucking quid. It's a lot of money, somebody shooting at us. He's also a close ally of King Charles. And uh, he's also a friend of Tony Blair and Boris Johnson, what about that? And he actually provided Dalesford House for Johnson's wedding party in July 2022, along with 24,000 towards the cost of the wedding. What a guy. And he returned, he, uh, well, he retired from the House of Lords on 10th of June this year. Why would he do that? I'll tell you why. It was all going so well for Lord Bamford, but listen to this bit. In 2020, in 2023, HMRC, Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs, launched a probe into alleged aggressive tax avoidance measures by Bamford. Okay, now. And his brother Mark. The inquiry concerns shares held offshore in Bermudan Family Trusts. Brexit, Bermuda, offshore, piece it together. Jack Tinner, Auselors, join the dots. The inquiry concerns shares held offshore in Bermuda, in Bermuda Family Trusts. And it's alleged, it is alleged, it is alleged he owes a half a billion pound tax. And he's done a fucking runner. He's worth four billion plus pound and he won't pay off a billion tax. That tax could be going to schools, hospitals, roads, infrastructure, that fucking country, what he's been happy to live in all his life. But he don't want to contribute. Why Why don't these rich people want to con contribute? And I'll tell you something. You know how they have a Sunday Times rich list? Here's a fucking idea for HMRC. What they should do is every month they should publish a list of the top 10 fucking tax avoiders. Let's see who the fucking true patriots are. Have a great day, everybody. Wakey, wakey. Let's go for it this morning. Lord Bamford, eh? Sir Anthony Bamford. Fucking what a wanker. <laughs>